Regarding 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 and the term face to face, in Exodus 33:11 we are told that God talked to Moses face to face as a man speaks with a friend. We know this is figurative language because Exodus 33:20 tells us that Moses did not actually see God's face. The same thing happens to us today when God speaks to us through his word. Hebrews 4:12 tells us that the Bible is living and active and that it judges the thoughts and attitudes of our hearts. As we read the Bible, even though we don't see God's face, we feel and know that we have personally come face to face with him. To understand 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12, we first need to look at James 1 21 to 25 and 2 Corinthians 3 18. Firstly, James 1 21 to 25 liken reading the Bible to looking into a mirror. Just as a mirror reflects our physical condition, the Bible reflects our spiritual condition. A mirror is being used as a symbol for the Bible. Next, James 1, 21-25 refer to the Bible as the perfect law that gives freedom. And in the next paragraph there is a link to a PDF showing that the perfect in 1 Corinthians 13, 9 and 10 is speaking about the Bible also. Lastly, 2 Corinthians 3.18 also speaks figuratively about looking into a mirror, the Bible, and being changed into Jesus' image. The Holy Spirit changes us from glory to glory as we continue to look into the Bible. This tells us that the mirror represents the perfect, which represents the Bible. 1 Corinthians 13.12 is a continuation of the discussion on the cessation of prophecy and knowledge, and it uses figurative language similar to James 1, 21-25 and 2 Corinthians 3.18. It says, Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. This verse speaks of now and then. Now being the time when Paul was writing 1 Corinthians and then being the time when the perfect was to come. Therefore, our interpretation of this verse depends upon what the perfect is. In the following link, I show why I believe that the coming of the perfect refers to the time when God would give his final revelation for inclusion in the Bible, making it complete, this revelation being the book of Revelation. The following interprets 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12 in the light of the perfect being the completed Bible. Now, with an incomplete Bible, we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Prophecy was limited. Then, when we have the completed Bible, we shall see face to face, figuratively speaking. Now, with an incomplete Bible, I know in part, because knowledge is in part. Then, when we have the completed Bible, I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Regarding mirror, the polished metal mirrors used in Paul's day gave a poor reflection. This speaks of the poorer understanding of things like our spiritual condition, Jesus' sacrifice, end times, etc., that we get when we only read the Old Testament. But just as today's glass mirrors give a clear reflection, the New Testament gives us a clear face-to-face -face understanding of God's will. Knowing fully is not referring to knowing God fully, as even in our eternal state we will not know him fully or be all-knowing like he is. We will never be omniscient. Knowing fully simply means having a full knowledge of God's will, plans and purposes as revealed in the perfect, complete Bible. Through the New Testament we can come to a much deeper knowledge of these things than through reading the Old Testament alone. God's will for man is fully known from the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation. With this in mind, the verse is saying, Now, with an incomplete Bible, I know in part, because knowledge is in part. Then, when the completed Bible comes, I shall know God's will fully, even as, that is, in the same manner as, I am fully known by him. I will fully know God's will, just as he fully knows me. So through the Bible we can figuratively come face to face with God and as we continue to look into this spiritual mirror 
we will come to know his will fully and be transformed into Jesus' likeness, going from one degree of glory to another. That's in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18. Amen.